Hello everyone. Welcome back to Soma Tutorials. Class Second PUC State Syllabus Multiple Choice Questions. This is the session number 10. Chapter 30 Database Concept. So, first of all, what do you mean by a data? A data is a collection of facts, figures, statistics which can be processed to produce a meaningful information. In other words, data is and unprocessed items. So, what are unprocessed items? Either it may be a alphabet, or it may be a number, or it may be a, any audio files, or it, it may be any video files. So, before going to a processing, the all raw facts we can call it as a data. Simply we can call it as unprocessed items or called data. Then, what is information? Information is processed data with some definite meaning. Information represents facts, figures, statistics which have a proper meaning. This is we can call it as information. In simply we can call it as processed data is called information. Then what is a database? Database is a collection of logically related data organized in a way that Data can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. Then, what is DBMS? Expansion of DBMS is Database Management System. A DBMS is a software that allows creation, definition, and manipulation of a database. So, DBMS is actually a tool use it to perform any kind of operations on data in databases. Either it is creating a table or it is inserting a values into the table or it is updating any values into the table. So anything. So these are all operations on the data that is performed on the databases. So this software we can call it as DBMS. So first, let us discuss about some of the multiple choice questions from this the chapter database concept. The first question is that dash is called information. Dash is called information. Options are option A, raw facts. Option B, collection of a data. Option C, unprocessed data. Option D, processed data. So in this the options the correct option is the option number d processed data is called information already i told the some of the definitions that are related to the database concept the one is called information processed data is called information this is a correct option next question dash is called a data options are option a processed data Option B, collection of values. Option C, raw facts. Option D, all of the above. So, correct answer will become raw facts because data is a collection of a raw facts. Either it is text or a number or audio files or video files or anything. The troll we can call it as a raw facts. These are raw facts we can call it as a data. Which among the following provides? Protection and security to database. Options are C, option B, C, option C, HTML, option D, DBMS. So, among these, the sum of the softwares. So, here the correct option will become DBMS. The DBMS, it is a software, it is used to provide protection and security to database because the DBMS it is a software allows as to creation definition and manipulation of a databases this is actually a tool is used to performing the any kind of a operations on a data in a databases and also it provides the protection and security to database so that the correct answer will become dbms next question each row of a table is called what the options are option a attribute option b field option c tuple option b domain so here the correct answer will become option c tuple 
each row of a table it is called a tuple a tuple we can also called as a row or a record the single entry in a table is called the record or the row a record in a table that represents the set of a related data so that the each row of a table it is called tuple next question expansion of rdbmx is some of the options which are revolution database management system relational database management system relation database management system relational database management manager system so here the correct option will become option b relational database management system the next question the collection of raw facts is what so options are option a data option b information option c processed data option d database so the correct answer will become a data the collection of error facts is called a data a data is a collection of error facts which are required to be a processing this is called as the data definition next question each distinct column heading of a table is called what options are option a record option b attribute option c domain option d tuple here the correct answer will become attribute the each distinct column is identified by the single header or a distinct header it is called attribute it is also called as the field each column is identified by the distinct header it is called attribute we can also called as a field next question the field that accepts alphanumeric text string is of which data type in a dbms the options are option a index field option b date field option c memo type field option d text field so correct answer will become a text field this text field it accepts the data as an the alphanumeric text string so it accepts either it is alphabets or it is any numeric format so the text field it is a data type which is used for accept a data as an alphanumeric text string next question is dash is a collection of logically stored data organized to access managed and updated so options which are option a data warehouse option b database option c data structure option d dbms so correct answer will become a data base because a database is a collection of logically related data organized in a way that data can be easily accessed easily managed and also updated this is a definition of an the data base next question is that dash is the lowest level of data abstraction that deals with the physical representation of the database the options are internal level option b external level option c outer level option d conceptual level so here the correct answer will become internal level so in the three tier architecture it has three different types of a levels one is called internal level second one is called external level third one it we can call it as a so second one it is called the conceptual level third one it is called external level so internal level which means that it is a lowest level of a data abstraction that deals with the physical representation of a data pieces on the computer thus is also known as physical level it describes how the data is physically stored and organized on the storage media so that but option will become option a internal level next question is that set of tuples is called what set of tuples is called what options are relationship option b relation option c attribute option d domain the correct answer will become relationship relationship are the set of tuples thus the table or row in the relational database is a tuple in a relation so this is called a set of tuple 
Next question, single entry in a table is called what? Options are option A, record, option B, relation, option C, entity, option D, domain. So already it is a repeated question. So correct answer will become so option A, record. A single any entry in a table, it is called a record. We can also call it as a row or a tuple. Next question, data about the data is called what? Options are option A, mass data, option B, metadata, option C, megadata, option D, microdata. So correct answer will become a metadata. A metadata, it is a data about the data is called a metadata. The set of a data that describes and gives the information about another data, it is called a metadata. Next question, expand a DBMS. Options which are database multiple system, database manipulation system, database manipulate system, database management system. Already we know the expansion of this one. So that is called option D, database management system. Next question, hierarchical data model organizes the data in A dash. Options are option A graph, option B tree, option C table, option D, none of these. So here, the correct answer will become a tree. So hierarchical data model, the data is organized in the form of a trees that we can call it as the tree-like structure. So hierarchical data model organizes a data in a tree. The correct option will become B. Next question is that ODBC stands for what? The options are option A, open database center, option B, open open database communication, option C, open database connectivity, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option will become option C, open database connectivity. So next question, which of the following is not a DBMS? So options which are Oracle, option B, SQL, option C, C++, option D, CBase. So among these options, Oracle, SQL and CBase, these are all the DBMS softwares. So either it is, so correct option will become option C, C++. C++, it is an object-oriented programming language. Thank you. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos. Thank you so much.